Hello everyone, welcome to my Wednesday Facebook Live. It's been a couple weeks since I've been live on a Wednesday, so um, this is what we're going to make today. We're actually making a stack of five cards, and this is actually going to be part one in a um, two-part series. On Sunday for week 10 of my 12 weeks of Christmas, um, we're going to make a product that, or a project that coordinates with these cards. So you'll want to tune back in in my VIP group on Sunday and there's a link in the video description to join my VIP group if you are not already a member. All right, um, welcome again. I am Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamping Corner and I am so excited to come to you today. All right, let's talk about all of the stuff that's going on before we dive into our project. Um, the lots of pun paper pumpkin kit. You're running out of time to sign up for this one if you want this paper pumpkin kit. The last day to subscribe is December 10th, so that's not this Friday, but next Friday. So don't wait to get this one. It's going to be nine cards. You get um, cards, supplies for nine cards and envelopes. You get a stamp set. You get an ink spot. It's so, it's going to be so good. This one's going to be good. I cannot wait. I've bumped up the um, number of kits I'm getting for this month because I'm super excited. All right, guys, we are saying goodbye to lots of products in this catalog. So the last chance list has posted. There are discounts up to 50% off. Um, I know this PDF is incredibly tiny and hard to read. So if you just go to my online store, click the last chance products banner, it'll show you everything that is on the sale, everything that's retiring and um, all the discounted prices will also be shown in my online store as well. Um, the important thing to remember about the last chance products list is that these are available while supplies last. If they sell out, they sell out and they're gone. So if you are like, well, I'll, I'll wait to order, I'll order next week, I'll order next week. Don't wait, you gotta put those orders in now because once they're gone, they're gone and some stuff has already sold out, guys. So don't wait, you gotta get those orders in now. Um, so that is from, yeah, this catalog right here. Now the, the stamp set, um, the bundle that we're using today, the Christmas season stamp set will carry over it'll still be available after this one that one's a carryover but the bundle price I don't believe is carrying over so um if you want that the bundle price you save 10% when you purchase it at a bundle make sure that you purchase it before um the end of the month because there'll be the bundle price will retire even if the product isn't retiring all right now new stuff there are new catalogs coming these will launch in January and um, demonstrators could start ordering from them today. My order's already in. I'm hoping to get that very, very soon. And um, so I'll be sharing some new project products coming soon. I did post a sneak peek project with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle on my blog yesterday. So if you missed that, make sure you check out my blog. If you do not have a demonstrator that you're working with and you were in the United States and you would like a catalog, please um, comment or send me a message and I would love to get you a catalog. I will be mailing these out um, probably mid-December. All right, and finally, guys, uh, my December card crate features the Turtle Friends Bundle, and this is going to be all pop-up or fun-fold cards. They are cards, these are some of my favorite cards that we've made for a card crate, and um, they're going to be so much fun. So if you want this month's card crate, features a Turtle and Friends Bundle, card crate is $35. It comes shipped directly to your door. You get $20 in product, and um, this month you're getting four videos. You're going to get one video for each card and um a little thank you gift and it, card crate is such a good deal and and if you need to add on the bundle you can add that on and i'll ship that with your class as well all right guys new month new host code we are in a brand new month this is december's host code so when you shop with the host code i'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit when you shop with the host code um and your order is over 50 dollars, i will send you a um make and take packet. Every order gets a PDF with three exclusive projects. When your order's over $50, you get the coordinating make and take packet mailed directly to you as a thank you gift for me. So use this host code when you shop. Um, the only exception is if your order is over $150, don't use the host code. I will still send you the make and take packet. All right, guys, so we are making a stack of thank you cards. Now, the reasoning behind this was um, kind of maybe you need some last minute Christmas gifts. Maybe you need a gift for those hard to shop for people. Um, everybody loves cards. I send cards with my kids all the time for their teachers. Everybody loves cards. Cards are always a welcome gift. So use your gifts and make some 
cards to send. So we're actually going to make a stack of five. And then for my 12 weeks of Christmas series, week 10, on Sunday in my VIP group, we're going to make a little box to store the cards in. So And then you can gift it in the box. Perfect gift. So this is what we're making today. Now, I have already... Um, done a little bit of the prep work for us to make all five of these in the video. The video might be a little long. So I've done the prep work. I've already made four of these. So I'm going to show you the process of making them and I'm going to give you some tips on um, kind of batch making, making lots of cards all at once. I'm making a stack of cards. So we're actually going to start with all of our stamping for these. And the stamping is all the same. All of the cards have the same exact images. And I went with thank you greetings for this because if you're giving this to somebody for Christmas, they're probably not going to want Christmas cards. So um, I went with thank you greetings. You could change this to birthday um, as well. Everybody loves birthday and Christmas cards. That's what everybody needs. All right, so I mentioned... We are using the Christmas season bundle. This is one of my favorite, favorite bundles. The dies are incredible. Not only will they cut out all of the images, but you also get some amazing label pieces as well. We are also using the Ornate Thanks stamp set. This is in the annual catalog. This is one of my favorite, favorite thank you stamps. I love these really big greetings. And then there's lots of greetings that will coordinate with them too. So these are the products we're using today. So we are going to make the Pear Pizzazz version. So I have two garden greens two crumb cakes, and then a pair of pizzazz version. So this is what we're going to make today. We're actually going to start with the stamping. So I am going to get out my um, scrap piece of white paper. Now, if you, there's two ways you can do the stamping. So I'm going to show you, of course, stamping everything all at once and then die cutting it. If you're making a stack of cards, if you're making five cards, you're going to want to stamp five of everything because that will, um, speed along your process. You want to do all your stamping first. So this one we're going to start with the, the detail part of our leaves here. That's in garden green. Now for each of the cards you need two of these little pine branches. So if you were making five of these cards you would need ten of these little pine branches and that again is in garden green. Okay let's move these stamps off. All right, we're gonna need one of these little sprigs here, these little berry sprigs. So I'm gonna stamp the sprig first. And I'm leaving, letting this garden green dry just a little bit. If you let the layers dry a little bit, the, um, the details and the lines will be much more prominent. All right, in real red, we're gonna come in with our little um, berry image here. It always takes me a minute to figure out how this goes. The berries just line up right on top of that little sprig. Isn't that cute? And that was in real red. All right. So remember, if you're making five of these, you're going to stamp five of everything. All right. Now we're going to come in with our pear pizzazz ink. And this will go right over. My, my stamp is not as sticky to my block. I need to I need to give that a good clean. If you find that your stamps are ever not sticking to your blocks, um, give it a, give them a good clean. Um, just some Dawn dish soap, just a light clean, and they'll actually um, get all their sticky back too. Okay, so we have our leaf, and then we have this other kind of leaf image here in pear pizzazz. So we have our images. Well, some of them. We're gonna come back to one of them. Um, but then you would die cut all of these. Now, if you had, you know, five of all of these and die cutting them, you're gonna have to line up every die each time. So I'm going to show you a quicker way to do some batch stamping. So let me get out my Stamparatus. This is actually one of my um, favorite ways to do batch stamping. So I have my um, my Stamparatus all set up here. I have a piece of cardstock where I have die cut the image that we're going to do. Now if you were doing this for all the cards, you can die cut all of the images out of this one piece. So I stamped it using my Stamparatus and then I've die cut just that one image. Now I went back and I stamp and I die cut just blank white pine cones. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fit that into the little die cut image there. And then I'm going to, I need to switch this. This is the wrong one. Switch it to this side. We're going to ink this up. This is with crumb cake. So this is our bottom layer. And you're just going to stamp that down. And then to lift it up, I'm just going to use my, my take your pick tool. And I'll tell you why, because let me get it under this way. 
is I have a piece of post-it tape under here and that's going to hold it in place. So I'm going to put the next one in. So it's much quicker to die cut blank pieces when you don't have to line up an image. If you can just run a piece of cardstock through and die cut the blank images, it is much quicker to do that than it is to, um, you know, line it up around the image, die cut it around the image. So if you have a bunch of blank pieces, you can go through, stamp these quickly. And we were just going to do three here. Okay, so we have our three there. Oh, you know what? My thing, make sure your cardstock is all the way up in the corner. I was wondering why I kept getting off a little bit. That stamp was picking it up. So just make sure your cardstock's in the corner. We'll do one more because that other one was a little wonky. There we go. This one's perfect. Okay. So you have all of your base ones stamped. All right, so we're gonna set those aside. I'm gonna line this back up in the corner. We're gonna flip our plate around. This is our detailed one. And I'm gonna pull in my soft suede ink. And we will go through and do the same thing. So I'm gonna line that up. And we'll ink up our detailed one. And stamp it right over. And you have that perfect pine cone all ready to go. So we'll do that again. I'm just going to show you how that goes. So this is a really, really quick way to get all your stamping done. If you have um, lots of images to stamp, so you can see how quick this is because all the die cutting is done prior. But what, however you feel most comfortable, you can. Look how perfect that is. So pretty. So if you prefer to stamp first and then line the die around it and then die cut, you can do that too. Um, otherwise, pull out that Stamparatus. This is a great tip and it makes your stamping go really quickly. So if you are making, you know, a bunch of a specific project, this will really make your stamping go quickly. All right, now through the magic of television, we've already die cut all of our pieces. And so we're, we're going to get ready to assemble. We're actually going to set these aside. We're going to work on the background over the cards. And I don't know if you can see it on all of the cards. They're all embossed with the macrame folder. So after you do all your stamping, all your die cutting, or all your die cutting and then stamping, um, you're going to want to do all of your embossing all at once. Make sure all your card bases are ready. You're going to do all of your embossing all at once. All right, so I'm going to bring this out like this. So we, we're using the big cut and emboss machine today because we're using the macrame folder and this one is a big folder so you need the, the full machine so I'm just going to line this up right along that line and then I'm going to make sure that my score line is right along the edge here okay and then this is going to go in make sure you have it nice and square you don't want the sides to scrape on your embossing folders you don't want them to scrape along the side of your embossing machine and we're just going to emboss this. So I'm using the, the gray plate. This is plate number four. This is a 3D embossing folder, so you need that gray plate. All right, let's get this out of the way. And there is our, hold it this way. There is our beautiful embossed background. Isn't it? I love this folder. This is one of my favorite folders. All right, I'm just going to reinforce that score line. All right, so you're going to do that with all of your card bases, and then we're going to start assembling. So I have, I forgot to stamp our greeting. We'll, we'll go back and stamp our greeting. I have some DSP. This DSP is three and a quarter by four and a half, and this is going to go, go down. And I'm actually going to use liquid glue for this because this macrame background is really textured, and I just want to make sure that this has a really good hold. So this goes down flat. When I'm giving cards as gifts, I like to keep the embellishments kind of to a minimum just so that they're post office friendly. So you'll see that we're going um, light on the dimensionals, light on the embellishments, just so that the post office doesn't complain about anything. And the, the recipients can mail them with just a regular stamp. All right, so we have our white layer glued down, and this was, I think it's three and a half by three and a half. All right, let's stamp our greeting. I'm going to pull out my Pear Pizzazz ink to coordinate with my card base. I coordinating, coordinated all my greetings with each card base. We're just going to stamp this in the middle. And this is 5 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters. So I'm just going to stamp that perfect. 
put my ink pad away and we are almost ready to assemble. So I want to pull out my linen thread. We're going to tie a quick bow. This is going to go behind our greeting. So just a quick bow off the spool. I kind of want loopy ends there. Get my scissors. There we go. This will go right behind our our greeting piece, kind of on the the left side there, and I'm just gonna stick it on. I put a little bit of stamp and seal on there just to hold my bow on there. And then we're gonna put some dimensionals on it. This is actually the only piece that we are popping up on dimensionals. So I'm gonna put one here. I'm actually gonna put one on top of my bow just to make sure that it holds, just in case, you never know. And then a couple more down the this side. All right, we're putting this on first because we're just gonna tuck everything around it, around the the white piece. So just lay this on your card again. This is what you want to do in batchwork. So you want to tie all your bows in batchwork. I want this just a little higher actually. Tie all your bows, assemble all your bows, get all your dimensionals on your greetings, stick them all on at once. All right, I'm ready to assemble everything. Now we're using liquid glue to adhere all of these down. So I'm going to actually start with, I'm going to start with this pear pizzazz piece, this little leaf here. And just a little bit of liquid glue on the back. You could use glue dots to adhere all of these down as well. This is just going to kind of go almost in the middle, a little bit right of the middle. And then all of our little, these two little pine branch pieces, we're just going to kind of tuck that under the, the bottom of that greeting. We're going to do the same on this side, just on the top, just like that. I'm going to bring in our pine cone. I do like the liquid glue for assembling all of these just because you can kind of wiggle them around if you need to. I'm going to do this leaf. This is just going to kind of get tucked behind here. Just like that. And our last piece is our little berry branch. And that just gets tucked in just like that. Just make sure it's the bow is on top. And that is your card suit. So you would assemble all of your cards the same way. So then you would have a stack of five cards. And all five of the cards have different DSPs. And these are all from the Paint a Christmas DSP. I love this DSP pack. So I basically went with all different patterns because I love them all. They're so hard to choose. All right. So that is our five cards. You see now I have two sets of them. I'm very excited. And I have lots of gifts this year. So... Now come back on um, Sunday in my VIP group and I'm going to show you that cute little box that we're going to make to gift all of these cards in. Okay, so that is it for today. These cards are so cute. They're so fun and simple. Um, so I hope you make them. You can even modify this greeting. You can use these as your Christmas cards. So happy stamping to all of you and make sure you join me on Sunday again in my VIP group. Um, I'll be live at 1 p.m. Mountain Time and we'll make that cute box. Remember, if you need to shop, please head to my online store. Use this host code. And um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll make sure to answer them. Um, if you like this video, please share it with your friends if you're on Facebook. And if you are on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out and helps me find new people. All right, guys, have a great rest of your Wednesday, and I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.